Hi everyone, I'm Jody Richards, owner of JK Richards Photography. Normally, Doug Timmerman would be here speaking, but he was unable to make it, so I thought this was a great opportunity to finally introduce myself. Uh, I've dealt with so many of you for so many years and nobody's ever met me or even seen me. Why, you ask? Welcome to my office in Arizona. I used to live in Genoa with my family. My son went through the uh, Genoa school system, played varsity sports all four years, went on to play baseball in college, became an all-conference athlete there. Um, am I bragging? Yes, I am. And the re But the reason I'm telling you all this is I have a huge passion for Genoa sports. Uh, when he was in high school, that's when I started doing this many years ago and continued on long after he left. And the great thing is I can be in Arizona running the business. Doug Timmerman is an exceptional sports photographer and he continues to do everything that I did for Genoa and sometimes even better. <laughs> Anyways, I want to also mention I'm not a video person. I'd rather be in front of you speaking. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> so I've got two screens open and I'm going to be referring to my cheat sheet that's over on that screen as well as pulling things over for you to see. If you're new to the sports program, I'm going to tell you about all our projects that we do. Um, if you've been here before, listen up because there are some changes. I have provided an information sheet that should be at the table in front of the sports meeting tonight and I encourage you to please pick it up. But I also have an information sheet right here. I encourage you to pick up your cell phones right now and take a picture of this screen. Um, it has the three main projects that we do for GK. The only thing that's on my website is Button Day. The other two galleries are on special galleries and you can only access them by these links. Our three main projects that you have seen on that sheet are the Sports and Band Exhibit, Button Day, and Banners. For those of you that have been here before, you may be wondering why didn't I mention Attitude Posters? After some long and hard discussions with my team, we've decided to discontinue Attitude Posters. We will still be doing the center spread of the sports program, which is the sports season team reps from that season, and it's kind of the attitude poster. So you will still be seeing that from us. Um, the first project that we will be doing, and I'm going to get my website up here for you eventually. Here we go. First, let me mention, I apologize. Um, if you click on the sports and sports product category, you're gonna see everything we do for GK. Uh, GKHS Sports is the sports photography that we do. Um, there's banners, there's button day, and there's the sports and band exhibit. We'll start with button day. Nothing new here if you've done this in the past. This is a fundraiser in which we donate our profits back to the high school. We've donated upwards of $1,000 or more each school year. It's a super fun event. And I'll give you just a quick look at the galleries. These are from previous seasons. Um, the kids get to choose their pose and they can do individual shots, group shots. As you can see, it is so much fun. The only thing we don't let them do is anything that's questionable. <laughs> it's gotta be clean. <laughs> Um, anyways, we do encourage band to join in and we ask that everyone come with their order forms, which you can access on the bottom of this page. Um, we ask that the kids come with these completed. There's tons of kids from all the sports and they stand in line for a long, long time. So it's best that they come prepared with their order forms and their prepayment. Um, again, this is a prepaid event. So if they choose to do additional poses with additional friends. We will have order forms at the table, but they need to make sure they're prepared with extra money. Uh, and those order forms will be at Maria Miranda's desk as well as at the sports um, meeting table tonight. Next project that I'll talk to you about is the sports and band exhibit. These mounted prints get installed in the main hallway in the high school across from the trophy cases. We start each school year with the prior year of sports and band. So the first installation this year will be from the 22-23 sports and band season, simply because we have not photographed anything yet for this year. 
Please be sure to check your email for the invites to this first gallery because the ordering window ends on August 6th. After the fall season ends, we will add new purchase prints and the same goes for winter. The exception is spring because by the time spring is over, the school is over and so we can't possibly install those prints until the following year, meaning 2024-2025. Um, I'm going to give you a quick look at the gallery link. There's always an information page right here that pops up um, when you go to these galleries. Please do read through it. It gives you rules about what we allow, how many um, you may purchase per sport, so on and so forth. And once you enter the gallery, you'll see we have every sport from last year, including band. And once you click on these galleries, you're going to find albums for the sports that we did photograph. So it's pretty much almost all of the sports um, that we were able to make it to. Next is banners. Banners has probably been the biggest change and I think you'll like what you hear. We have found a wholesaler to work with and we will now be able to provide the same premium quality banners at a lower price point with, um, because we no longer have to meet volume discounts. You will find our banner pricing has gone down and with our smaller banner, we are in direct competition with our competitor's banner, which has been purchased by the, in the past by some of the teams. We are still offering the 36 by 72 large banner. We have also been offering the 24 by 60 banner which competes with the competitor's 24 by 48 banner. The beauty of our banners, aside from being beautiful, <laughs> is your athlete gets a custom photo shoot, um, custom graphics, it's just got a real cool look to it, and they stand out very nicely in the gym as well as on the fences. Here is the winter banners from Girls Basketball that were purchased. These are our larger banners, and you can see how nicely they stand out. The girls basketball team pulled those banners down at the end of the year for senior night and they made a beautiful display at the entrance of the gym. So multifaceted. These are our smaller banners. You can see that they are still a full body shot, even with the smaller banner, still looking just as gorgeous as usual. This obviously was the girls soccer team, um, all the seniors that graduated and they posted these on senior night, I installed these on the fence. A lot of seniors. And here we have the baseball team. This is the larger banner. They put these up on the backstop for senior night. I believe girls softball did something similar. Um, also purchased the large banners for their seniors. Again, we have that banner gallery that I was telling you about. And I'm gonna to try to just quickly pull that up if I can here, just to give you a quick look. Same thing, you enter your email address so we can correspond with you. Again, great explanation here on how this gallery works. And when you see this, you click on it, you are not buying a photo of Nolan Perry. <laughs> you are just buying the banner. So if you click on that, you're gonna see items, meaning the banners, oops, excuse me. Seeing the banners, um, there's other products on there which I'll talk to you about momentarily and there's packages which I'm going to talk to you about as well. So back to the rules of the banners. Let me close this. Um, GK has a rule that you must purchase either all banners for all seniors or the whole team. If there's 10 kids on a team, eight of them can't have banners that are displayed. It has to be all 10 or none at all. You may certainly purchase a banner for your own personal use, but you can't display them unless it's all the seniors or all of the team. Um, the other rule is we like to stay consistent. School wants them consistent, meaning if the volleyball team purchased the 36 by 72, they all have to be 36 by 72. And the same goes for the smaller banner. Moving on, I'm gonna to talk to you about our packages. 
which is new. Um, we are offering the banner along with a senior poster. We used to do these years ago and we kind of stopped, but we are now packaging that together. Uh, and we are also offering, which we started this in spring of last year, a high resolution digital download of the photo that was used for the banner. Uh, you may do anything with this download, uh, this digital download, including make your own prints, um, share it online. The only thing that you can't do with this is use it for commercial use. And then I offer a trifecta package, which includes the banner, the senior poster, and the digital download. And the, uh, these two products are discounted if you buy them with the packages. Uh, the packages are completely optional, so if you're buying a banner, you do not have to buy a package. That's completely up to you. Okay, so let's see here. The banners must be purchased, pre-purchased. So I recommend that you find a team parent or uh, a parent that has a senior or something like that and organize the purchase so that you're all complying with the rules of the banners, meaning all or nothing um, and the same size. Once you know that all of your team or your seniors are going to purchase the banner, then everybody should go ahead and purchase their banners. If somebody happens to go on and purchase uh, and the whole team or the, all the seniors don't actually purchase it, I will give you the option of keeping it for personal use or I will refund your money. Okay, anyways, that's my presentation. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say thank you very much for uh, being here tonight with me. If you ever find yourself out in Arizona, please contact me. I would love to meet you, spend time with you, photograph you, uh, and I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.